More than a year after the double murder trial of Alec Murdoch has shined a light on the small city of Walterboro, the area has seen a significant increase in tourism and an economic boost. Almost 20 million people drive through Walterboro a year on Highway 95 with under 6,000 people living in the city, which is known as the front porch of the low country. Our Emily Johnson took a deeper look into the specific economic numbers over the last few years and spoke to those who had a firsthand experience of the chaos. When people think of the Murdoch trial, they often associate this building, the Carlton County Courthouse, where members of the media and public sat for six weeks awaiting the verdict. Now, although that attention has slowed down a little bit, it has not changed. I'm sure that there are a lot of people who never knew Walter Barra existed who are now familiar with Walter Barra because people were really watching the trial day after day. Specifically, local hospitality tax revenue in Walterboro went from around $592,000 from 2021 to 2022 to $648,000 in 2022 to 2023 in the months after the trial. It's hard to say 100% that all increases in revenue came from the Murdoch trial, but there can be a correlation made. And we can kind of get a reading on on how the trial impacted us from that. Um, it's difficult though when you figure in um, inflation and other things. Fat Jack's is a restaurant located about 10 minutes from the courthouse. That was the location for a court TV special during the trial. T-shirt sales definitely went up and we had people calling from all over the country. He says people still visit Fat Jack's asking to sit in the booth where court TV hosts did while filming. Still, we still have people who come in and ask us about it, and that even it's been a year and a little over. But for the people who call the small town home, Walterboro is much more than a tourist destination. People that might have just driven by now when they see the Walterboro billboards and the Walterboro city limits sign, they, they might be more likely to, to drop in and pay us a visit. Reporting in Walterboro, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News.